Well, hi, everyone. Well, we have another breaking news bridge collapse, this time in the former East Germany in the city of Dresden. I want to thank uh, those of you who reached out to me, let me know about this story. It really helps me track these uh, breaking news stories and do additional research, so I appreciate it. So the bridge that collapsed is Corolla Brücke. Brücke means bridge in German. A portion of this bridge collapsed on Wednesday, September 11th, about 3 o'clock in the morning. The lanes involved were for pedestrian and train traffic. It's one of four key bridges in downtown Dresden over the Elba River. This uh, Google Maps shows you the area. So we're zooming in to Dresden. You can see the road closures with the red icons. Rather dramatic collapse. Fortunately, no one was injured. There was no one on the bridge at the time of the collapse. This bridge carried a lot of important utilities, including steam from a cogeneration plant. Now, if we zoom in here, I'm going to pause it right here. You can see we have separation between sections of the bridge of these concrete girders. Reportedly, these are pre-stressed concrete girders. And you can see some openings in here. I don't know if this was uh, ducts for some post-tension cables or not. Typically, such bridge construction consists of pre-stressed concrete elements as well as post-tension elements. So you run cables through openings inside the concrete structure and tension them so you create a more rigid structure. Now, this caught many Germans by surprise. I want to play this clip because I think it's rather telling. I couldn't believe it this morning. I thought it might happen in Genoa or somewhere in the USA, but not here. And to be honest, I'm slowly but surely beginning to believe that it's symptomatic that things like this are happening here. Everything has been neglected. So that's a familiar sentiment. A lot of people are waking up in Western countries to the complete deterioration of our infrastructure, seemingly. But... Uh, you, you could kind of hear the attitude there that how could this happen in Germany? We're used to being high tech and advanced and our engineering is so good. And, uh, you know, if you don't keep up with repair and maintenance, these issues will happen anywhere. Now, when I first heard that this was in the city of Dresden, I immediately thought, well, this has got to be a post-World War II bridge. You know, over 90 percent of the city of Dresden was destroyed by Allied bombing during World War II. So a little bit of history here, as we know, Following World War II, the Allies partitioned Germany. The red sector was the Soviet sector, which included East Germany. This was all part of the agreement at the Potsdam Conference following a victory in Europe by the Allies. So late July, early August. So I did some research, and I don't think the Germans can really consider this to be an isolated incident. I found this article, A Critical Moment for Germany's Bridges. And... Uh, you can see these post-tension members here under the bridge deck and in, in the girders. This article mentions that over 4,000 German Autobahn bridges need urgent renovation or reconstruction. And to put that in perspective, there are over 40,000 bridges throughout Germany. So let's look at how one of these precast concrete girders is constructed. You have a casting yard. You've got a, a trough or a tray that has these steel cables that are pre-stressed, and then the concrete is cast around it. The formwork is removed. The steel cables, after the tension is released, are cut off, uh, released from the outside, that is. And then you have a gantry crane hauling the girder out to the yard for later transport to the job site. And as we saw with the new harbor bridge in Houston, they did their construction in a similar fashion and uh, their casting yard was just a few miles from the bridge site. It's just another photo of what some of these openings for post-tension cables could look like. This is not the Corolla Bridge. You see the photo to the left where they're using a hydraulic jack to tension these cables after sections of the concrete girders are put together. So just more images of this bridge. It makes me wonder if this was a corrosion issue you know, I don't know for sure that this bridge was post-tension, but I would think it would be. But the bridge was completed in 1971, so right smack in the middle of the Soviet era. So I can't imagine maintenance was 
that good on this bridge. It reminds me of the Washington Bridge in Rhode Island. It had similar post-tension elements. I say similar, assuming the Corolla Bridge did, but uh, the post-tension elements in the Washington Bridge had deteriorated significantly, and this bridge could have had a catastrophic failure just like you saw with this bridge in Dresden. So we see that Germany, like many developed countries, has a huge backlog of bridges that need major renovation or replacement. And if you follow various geopolitical analysts, Germany's in tough straits right now economically. And a lot of this has to do with their energy policy. They shut down their nuke plants from around 2011 to 2023. So right now they have zero nuclear power generation and they shut down a total of 36 plants. And of course they became dependent on Russian natural gas and after the war in Ukraine started and later destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline, their energy costs have, were already high, but they've skyrocketed and it's really impinging on German industry. And their manufacturing sector just in many cases can't afford to keep producing and it's had a huge down drag on their manufacturing sector, which is a big part of the German economy. So where are they gonna get the money to rehab all their bridges? I think that's a, that's a key question. So right now, back to the Corolla Bridge, they're quickly trying to dismantle these spans because there's a lot of flooding in Eastern Europe right now and, and more rain to come. You can see some images here of this flooding in Eastern Europe, it's uh, quite devastating. This is from this storm or series of storms, Boris lashing Central and Eastern Europe. I recorded this video on September 15th, and this was just a screenshot of the weather map, the weather radar, and you can see more rain was moving through the area. So I'll continue to follow this story. I'll be really curious what developments come out of this. You know, whenever these events happen, you wanna know what happened to that bridge in particular, but then you wanna know about other bridges that could have a similar construction, a similar history you know, could this be the tip of the iceberg here? And maybe they have to shut down a lot of bridges on an emergency basis until they can perform special inspections to find out what's going on. And of course, it raises the question, when was the last time this bridge was inspected? How thoroughly was the bridge inspected? So I'll be following all these developments and we'll do future video updates uh, as they warrant. I wanna send a shout out to the channel members. I really appreciate your ongoing support as well as those of you who provided super thanks. That's another great way to support the channel. I'm gonna roll credits at the end. I wanna thank everyone. I, I really feel like the channel is continuing to go up several levels because of the, the quality of the viewership, the quality of the comments, and just the really high level in, of engagement. I, I learn a lot by doing these videos and getting your feedback. So that engagement gives me a lot of great ideas. It, it provides topics for future videos that I could research. So I really appreciate it. Please stay tuned for future videos.